Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Life, Sam. No dirt, no bugs, no annoying bear. Back in the forest, my only entertainment was picking ticks off my butt. <laughs> Hello, Hello, everyone! everyone. Coming up on Bling My Day House, a doghouse with its own home office. Wow, we could do better than that. How'd you like your very own blinged doghouse, Wash? Huh, boy? Doghouse? <laughs> How come dogs get all the cool stuff? What? Doghouses are the worst. Me, I'll take the people house with AC and snacks. Hmm, Wash doesn't seem excited. Not like the dogs on TV. Strange. Hmm. Ha! Oh! Oh, whoa, whoa! <laughs> ah. <laughs> Honey, I think Wash wants a doghouse duplex for him and his best bud, <laughs> Sam. Yeah? Ah! Uh, you heard the dog. Ah! Uh, ah! Uh, oh, honey, I married the best pet owner in the whole world. I'm gonna make you your favorite rhubarb pie. Hmm? Oh, <laughs> yum! <laughs> oh, Wash, you have no idea what it's like to have to pretend to like that disgusting rhubarb pie. Lucky you're a dog. Huh? <laughs> Come on, boy, aren't you excited? Time to move in yet? Not exactly. Keep it simple, that's my motto. Weird, I feel like I'm being watched. That's what I thought, but it's <laughs> just Vic. I heard something in that tree. Ha! Who is it? Huh? This is gonna sound crazy, but I swear I smelled Mitch the bear. <laughs> I would know the smell of his salmon breath anywhere. Mitch? But he lives in the forest. How would he know where to find us? Don't know. All I know is if it's Mitch, it's not good. He wants something. Ah, uh, it's just Vic. She loves to stare. It's one of her main talents. I don't know. Look at your new homeboys. Pretty great, huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What about you, Wash? Go on, boy. <laughs> Tell you what, let's go get your toys to furnish your pad. Come on, Sam. Here, Wash. looks normal. We'll circle back once more. That was close. <laughs> Ooh. Wow, is that a cave? I got a treat this morning and I saved it for you. It's called a housewarming gift. No, oh, Eugenie. Can I have just one little bite? Sure, in fact, we should eat that before we go back out there. Just in case. Wash, you heard Eugenie. It's to warm our house. Here's a little something from me. Old newspaper? You can read it and pee on it. It's like two gifts in one. <sighs> Hi, 
I'm sure it's all perfectly safe. Sure it is. <sighs> yep, nothing here. Just my imagination. I can't believe I was acting so crazy. Hi, ah, you guys. <laughs> ah! Mitch, what are you doing here? Hiding from those lights. They think they can get me. <laughs> but I'm smarter than them. Boys, I got a possible robbery in progress. Copy that. No bears here. I repeat, no bear. We're on our way. Well, good for you. But you know, you can't stay here, right? Yep, but neither can you. Living with humans, it's against the laws. Laws? What laws? The laws of nature. Anyway, I thought we were friends. We are friends. Long distance friends. Mm -hmm. We live here and you live way over there. Cool, huh? Not cool. I'm taking you guys home to the woods. We're going to be best next door neighbor friends. <laughs> what are these? <clears throat> Whoa! -ho 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 -ho! You guys eat those all the time? Yep, after a walk, after a pee. Nope, those are only for special occasions. Very special occasions. This is a special occasion. I came all the way from the forest. So if you don't get me some more, we're leaving right now. No problem, pal. I'll be right back with extra special treats. <laughs> ah! What are you doing back so soon? Mitch, it's Mitch. He's in the doghouse. He's come to take us back to the woods. What was that? I hope it wasn't your rhubarb pie exploding, because that would be a tragedy. I'd better investigate. Hey, Washington, what's the matter, boy? <laughs> you don't like the doghouse I poured all my heart and soul into building for you? <laughs> More dog food? Well, okay. Just don't tell the missus. Hmm? Pie's almost done. <laughs> Yummy. Now I know why you like it here so much. Go get me more. <laughs> more! And bring me one of these, but softer and bigger. <laughs> Keep the elves busy. We can't risk them coming out while Mitch is here. <laughs> <laughs> what are you dweebs up to here? Um, nothing. Let me see. She's a house cat. She, um, doesn't like to be held. Welcome to my house, house cat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, looks like the pie's done. Uh, uh, yum, I can taste it already. It just needs to cool a little. Only five more minutes. <laughs> Can't wait. It smells good. Watch that! Give me that! You want the pie? I can't do that. That's human food. Humans love pie. Well, guess what? I have a feeling I love pie, too. OK, OK. Pie's on the way. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, get over here! Give me that! Give him the pie, Wash! Come on, Washington! He's getting really mad! <laughs> I want dessert! <laughs> 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 
Hello? My pie! Where did it go? Oh, no! Not the pie! <laughs> Naughty! Are you okay? <laughs> Give me my pie! <laughs> you want your pie? Go get it! Freeze, fur bag! Uh oh. <laughs> Sorry about your doghouse, boy. You'll just have to make do with our house. And here's a little something to make it cozier. My famous rhubarb pie. <sighs> Lucky us. Is that you? I smell you, Pie. And now that I love you, I'll be back. <laughs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So we decided to leave. The city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Listen, ladies, if you're not staying hydrated and getting a solid 20 hours of sleep a day, you're going to show your age. Yes, Susie? Are we all? Oh, yes. Good question. No, not yet. But you will one day. You want to put that off as long as possible. Why? Because, my dear naive Susie, nobody wants an old pet. Nobody. <laughs> Good morning, ladies. Ah! Oh, Sam, help me out here. <laughs> ah, thanks, buddy. Sure. Oh, I had the most amazing dream. I was rolling around in a mud pit the size of a pond. It was amazing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> tell us more. Ah! 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 What is that? Are you dying? Is this part of your face? Oh, relax. It's just a little avocado rinse to keep our coats youthful and shiny. Oh. 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 Tasty. No, oh, I don't need that stuff. I get all my energy from a good night of howling at the moon. <laughs> <laughs> you need it more than any one of us, Wash. You're like what? A billion years old? Wait, what? What, what? Look, all I know is you're super duper old. <laughs> what do you mean, super duper old? Let's look at the numbers. Tell me, how old are you? I'm, I think maybe... Well, I have no idea. We don't really do birthdays in the woods. It doesn't matter anyway, because whatever age you think you are, you're actually seven times that age. I'm guessing you're somewhere around 35, or maybe even 40, so very old. <laughs> that most certainly does not sound about right. I'm as spry as they come. If you use the word spry, then you're definitely getting up there. But just to double check. Mm -hmm. What? What is it? What do you see? Not much, just... Ah! A gray hair. That means you're almost dead. A gray hair? But that's just like... This old silver fox I used to feed. Thanks, Sonny. Whatever. I still got it. Sure you do, Wash. Just like that old silver fox had it. Wait, so you're saying that when you get old, you lay around and people bring you food? Sign me up! Well, yes, but that wasn't my point. Oldness is really nothing to get excited about. Treat time, my furry friends! Come and get it! it. <sighs> we splurged and got gingery ginger snaps for ah! ever! <laughs> gingery ginger snaps? Ow! Gosh, are you okay? For the 10 billionth time, I'm fine. Stop treating me like your grandpa. Come here, lean on me. <laughs> 
No! Everyone leave me alone! <laughs> oh no, Wash. Let me help you up. How about one more treat, old boy? Life is short, right? Want me to chew it for you first? I'm not old! I'm gonna show you! Watch out, girls! Watch and learn! Was a cub. Our idea of going for a walk was a 20 mile journey uphill both ways. Come on, Alfie, let's go inside. I want to play house. I told you, I'm not playing house until we have someone to play the grandpa. When I was a kid, our idea of playing house was eating rocks. If we wanted a grandpa. Hey, wait! <laughs> we can get Washington to play the part. Actually, he can play our great great grandpa who is back from the dead. <laughs> <laughs> I can't look. It's just a sea of gray in here. What? Is everything all right? Huh? Speak up. We're worried about you. I know you all once thought of me as your spirited leader, but it's becoming clear that my aging body is letting you down. Maybe I'm no longer fit to be in this role. Maybe it's time for me to accept my elderly status and all that comes with it. But Wash, you're not elderly. When I was a cub, there was an old silver fox who lived in our den. I used to have to chew- You told us this story! Really? About a hundred times. Well, that proves it. It's time for me to retire and go back to the woods. But we can't stay here without you, Wash. Yeah, you're our leader. You'll freeze out there. This is what old animals do. We return to nature. <sighs> I'd like to thank you all for coming to the Stop Washington from Leaving meeting. First on the agenda, how do we stop Washington from leaving? Oh, that's what's happening? I'm out of here. Wash can figure this out on his own. He's a big boy. I mean... An old boy. Well, we're off to a great start. But let's stay focused. How do we get Wash to stay? Let's tie him up! He's so stubborn, we need to go and hide and pin him down! Yeah, uh, okay. Any other suggestions? Oh, you? oh, I got it! Lock him in a closet forever? This is going to be harder than I thought. What if we set up an easy, really, really easy obstacle course for him? Then he wins it, and he thinks he's still a young pup, and he doesn't leave, and we all live happily ever after. That's actually a really good idea. Thanks. Oh, we can use spoons for hurdles. <laughs> no, we need the tinier ones. Get the decorative teaspoons. Kids, you got a new play set now that the old man's on his way out. Life's for the living. No, Wash, this is for you. Huh? If you can make it to the end of this agility course, that means you're in the prime of your life. And you won't have to go back to the woods. Huh? Hmm, of course. If I don't make it to the end, I'll have no choice but to return to nature. Only respectable thing. And 
want to go to the woods, having someone chew your food for you is no life at all. Start the stopwatch. They weren't even real rocks. Good try, everyone. Victoria, lead my friends well. Oops. I'm a little competitive. Wash, I'm so sorry. You're not an old man. And those balloons, I mean, rocks, I mean, I have really sharp claws. I could pop a rock. It's okay, Victoria. You don't have to pretend. I'm an old guy. It's time for me to say goodbye. <gasps> don't follow me. Let me go with dignity. <laughs> I guess this is as good as it's gonna be from now on. Surprise! <laughs> Happy birthday, Wash! However old you are. You guys came all the way out here to give this to me? He didn't really make it that far. Well, I was a bit tired, you know. Uh, but tell me, how did you know it was my birthday? We don't celebrate those back in the woods. We didn't have a clue. We just decided to celebrate the first day of your new life. You maybe want to blow out your candles? Candles, right? That's what you do when you celebrate a birthday. You okay, Wash? He's more than okay. Your gray hair is gone. You look like a brand new cub again. Well, you look at that. I guess my days aren't numbered after all. Does that mean you'll come back home with us? Only if I can get more of those gingery ginger snaps. You don't need that thing. Oh, yeah. Oh, watch it! Oops, sorry. It's okay, Grandma. I'll give you a hand. Grandma? I'm not a grandma. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. but also sweet and often delicious. Here comes the uncontested Lord of the Garden. Here comes the snail. Snail, 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 snails everywhere. And in city news, there appears to be a squirrel overpopulation problem, which is causing an acorn shortage. And that's making for some angry squirrels. Breaking news, everyone. We interrupt this broadcast to bring you news of Hercules, the dog who just saved a kitten from a hornet's nest. Wait, what's that? From two hornet's nests. Morris, this is one brave dog. Yes, Melody, and that's why the city has given Hercules a lifetime supply of sausages. And a hero medal, which itself is a dog biscuit. I think we can all agree that Hercules is everyone's best friend. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And now, Melody, on to less exciting news. Sinkholes are popping up around the world. No! More about Hercules! The bravest pet ever. I want him to rescue me. <laughs> I really don't see what the big deal is. <laughs> Jealous? Jealous? Jealous of what? <laughs> Sausages. 
Which you'll share with me when you become a hero dog, right? Yes, yes, of course. We'll see. Oh, you think I can't be a hero dog. Fine, I'll just cross you off my friends to give extra sausages to list. Please, I'm all about salmon. <sighs> oh. <laughs> salmon. <laughs> Ah, yes. Wait, you see this, Mrs. L. I'll save you, squirrel. Oops, sorry. I mean, this neighborhood has really gone to the dogs. The dumb dogs. At least he thinks I'm a dog. I'm doing something right. That's cute and all, but I need something bigger. Whatever shall we do? Help! Save us, Washington! Only you are hero enough! Thanks, girls, but I gotta find something that really needs saving. Lots of people around, and that nice old lady stranded in the middle of the street. Hero time! Washington! No! Oh! You okay, ma'am? Stay away from me, huh? mongrel! Oh, sorry about that. Let me help you clean these up. Uh -huh. ah! Honey, you won't believe what just happened. Now, there aren't any even humans around to watch me. But I'm recently deceased. Tell me, Washington. Uh, okay. Well, that was a bust. Wait, I got it. Never mind. Huh? <gasps> Hero time! Arf, arf, woof, 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 arf! Ahem. Arf, 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 woof, woof, woof! Huh? Arf, oh! Sam, Sam, look out for those! You! Save for pedestrians! Uh, oh, four wheels rule! Hero time! Yeah! Get out of my way, youngster! <laughs> Oh, this is my chance! Hero time! And again, sinkholes appear around the country. Help! Washington, I'm stuck! Not now. <laughs> Susie? You genie? You're geniuses! <gasps> yes! Wait, why? Because while I was ignoring you, I saw Alfie and Gracie, and you know what Alfie and Gracie are, right? <laughs> Human children! The most high-value thing you can heroically save! Huh? Excuse me, I've got some hero work to do. <clears throat> I'm okay. But I'm really stuck! <laughs> there, saved. <laughs> <laughs> oh, perfect!
perfect. Ha-ha! <laughs> uh, remind me again why we're taking their toys. Because, Sam, soon the kids will start looking for their toys. And then I'll be around to find them, and then I'll be the hero. No! Now I get what you're trying to do. Brilliant! <laughs> Thanks. You're creating the danger by stealing the toys of two innocent little kids to fight <laughs> being a hero so you can get what you want. <laughs> Genius! Uh, wait. No, I... Uh... Ah, I toys! <laughs> I'm not so sure. <laughs> but I thought you were... <sighs> You're right, Sam. Maybe this isn't such a good idea after all. Yeah? What did I say? But what about the sausages? Yeah, yeah, well, we're gonna have to make do with our regular pet food and table scraps, Sam. What I was doing was <laughs> wrong. Wrong? But how could it be wrong? We're talking about sausages here. Ah! Help! 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 Ha ha, very funny. That's enough teasing out of you two for one day. Thank you very much. You! Ah! <laughs> Eugenie! Susie! Ah! Washington, help! Eugenie! Susie! They're falling! Ah! Wow, really? You too, Sam? And I thought we were pals. You have to go and taunt me too? Washington! Ah! Oh man, I gotta help them! Those woodchucks always partying. <laughs> 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 I'm coming, buddies! It's over! <laughs> Hang on, friends! Wash! Wash, good job! Where's my medal? Where are the journalists? Where are my fans? Look, <laughs> Albie! Our toy! <laughs> oh. Thanks a lot, weird dog! Breaking <laughs> 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 news live! Hello again, Jean Francois! It's absolutely incredible! Now in the presence of a toy rescuer dog. The mayor is just about to give him the Medal of Courage for his outstanding behavior in this particularly troubled time. Congratulations, little dog. You are my hero. <laughs> well done, dog. And as a special reward, here is two tons of kibble. <laughs> Dinner time! This reward is great, honey. But couldn't they have at least packaged all this kibble? Mmm! <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Oh, yeah. 
weird. All dogs wag their tails. Why doesn't Wash wag his? Maybe a heart-pumping workout will get that tail wagging. <laughs> Catch! <laughs> get it! <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you just need someone to show you how. See Washington? Like this. Huh? Yeah. Uh, I uh I'm showing my dog how to wag his uh better call the vet. And for Victoria, a new toy filled with catnip. That's right, Doc. Washington won't wag. So you can see why I'm concerned. He never wags his tail. Are you sure? Think long and hard. Uh, What's all the drama about? Whatever it is, it has something to do with my tail not being able to wag. This is because you're a wild fox. Domesticated foxes can wag. It's genetic. I've seen it on TV. <laughs> <laughs> You're so on it, you're... Okay, maybe not. No! Ah! <sighs> uh, nope. I can't remember the last time I saw his tail wag. Maybe never. Well, I don't have to see him. To make a diagnosis, your dog is just not happy. As the rhyme goes, if it doesn't wag, it's sad. But that doesn't really rhyme. <laughs> of course it does. I went to college. I mean, how well do you really know your dog? Maybe he isn't happy with you in the city. Maybe he'd be happier in the country. You should think about sending him to a farm. Do you mean it? You think Washington would be better off on a farm? Far away from us? Who knows? Really? Of course! Well, if he doesn't wag very soon, we'll send him away. Huh? After all, you are the medical professional. Oh, oh yes, I'm even wearing a white coat and a stethoscope. an emergency. The elves think I'm defective because my tail doesn't wag. So if I don't wag really, really soon, I'm gonna get sent to the country. I don't even know where that is. It's far. Lots of cows. Oh. We'll probably never see you again. <laughs> what? If only we could help you wag. Uh oh, he's about to make that call. We gotta do something. I know. How about you? Uh, uh... Hey, maybe we should talk to some real dogs and see if they've got some tips. That's what I was gonna say. We could ask. Uh... Plato and Alvarez. But what if they guess my secret? What if they realize I'm not really a dog? Hmm. We'll think of. Yeah, something. What? Bizarre. A dog unable to wag its tail? Yes, a dog friend of a dog friend. <laughs> we barely know this strange dog. He's a normal dog. Well, his bark is a little weird. This is Washington we're talking about, yes? It doesn't matter. We can't explain it. When we're happy, we wag. It just happens. Please, guys, just a demo. This is a desperate situation. Why not? It's fun when you beg. Hmm. Move all your tail muscles to the left, then to the right. Start slow, repeat. Come on. And one and two, 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 and one and two. I think I saw something. 
<laughs> no, no, no. Not up and down. That's not a wag. Right and left. Right and left. Right and left. <sighs> I'm afraid we can't help you. Sorry. You're just too weird. If Washington doesn't wag his tail, the elves will send him to a farm. Yikes! I'd rather live in the wild than on a farm. Oh, please. Washington would never survive in the wild. <laughs> Just do it. Go over there. It's worth a try. Mm -hmm. uh, hi! <laughs> huh? Doc, it's me. Mr. Owl, he's worse off than we thought. Washington is wagging his tail. But it goes up and down, not right to left. Oh, Doctor, what's wrong with him? Oh, ah, now look what you've done. This is all your fault. The vet says it's all my fault. <laughs> <laughs> I guess we're just not the right owners for him. Come on, Sam! It's a cat toy filled with catnip! It's for cats! Exactly! That's why I like it so much, because I am a cat! Huh? <laughs> sure you are, just like Washington is a dog whose tail doesn't work. What's that supposed to do? Wagging machine! getting worse. He's going bananas. Doctor, it's official. There's something very wrong with Washington. Of course there is. I'll pick him up in the morning and take him to the country forever. Sound good? Yes, Doctor. See you in the morning. Okay. And don't go to any trouble. Uh, just coffee for me. Bye now. <sighs> Sorry, boy. We thought we were the perfect match for you. We've got to try something else. <laughs> I think I better take off for the wild like Alvarez said. Otherwise, I could end up on a farm forever. I won't let you go back to the wild alone, Washington. We'll <laughs> all go back. No, no, no. It would break the Living Stones' hearts. And they're sad enough about me being defective as it is. I've got to do this alone. You can split my dog food. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye. You, Kate, whatever. Bye. You're so dramatic. You really don't get it, do you? Get what? Why they're sending you away. Do you know something? I might have some information. Vic, please! Rush is about to be sent to the country and we'll never see him again. Tell us what you know. Cat toy, please. For keeps. For keeps? <laughs> All right, let's do it. <laughs> care if your tail works or not. They just want to see you're happy. Why do you think I purr all the time? They just want to see I'm happy? That's easy. I'll show them I'm happy like they've never seen before. Yeah. 
<laughs> we may not be perfect, but we're better together than we are apart. Huh? Uh, hello, it's your trusty vet. Sorry, Doc. False alarm. Everything is okay now. Really? Absolutely. Just have a look. <laughs> See? Everything is fine. Sorry to have bothered you, Doc. Have a good day. Ah, 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 ah. That family is completely nuts. Okay, guys. I'm bringing you back to the forest. <laughs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. favorite dish, Mr. Livingstone's too. <laughs> come on, Mr. Livingstone, come home. Now? Now? No! <sighs> Why does Mr. Livingstone go camping anyway? In the woods. Just thinking about it makes me want to store extra calories. It's a human thing, Sam. Going camping helps him get in touch with his primitive self. Hmm? His real, like, Wild self, almost like us. It still makes no sense. <laughs> Mr. Livingstone's natural environment is in front of the TV. So lucky. Ah, yeah. It's Mr. L. Who is that guy? Hey, everybody. Mr. Livingstone doesn't look like that. Whoa! What in the world is this new look? Are you really my husband? <laughs> you betcha. Except I feel like a million bucks. How? <laughs> Mr. Livingstone doesn't talk like that. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. What is that? It's a monster! He's eating the monster! I admit, that's <laughs> terrifying. You wouldn't believe how great it feels to get back to real life. Fishing for your food, building campfires, sleeping under the stars. I'm a new man. <laughs> really? Yep. In fact, I want to start building stuff with my hands. <laughs> uh, oh, I thought you were kidding. Of course you should build things with your hands. Of course. Hmm. Are you sure it's Mr. Livingstone? It's his voice. Are you kidding? Look at his face. It's got fur stuck all over it. Uh, what about the monster that keeps coming out of his mouth? It's like Mrs. L doesn't even notice it. But the weirdest thing of all is that costume with a zipper. You guys are right. I think he's got to be an alien from outer space. Uh, what? An E.T., an extraterrestrial. Some of them prefer to be called Martian. Huh? <gasps> oh, forget it. Sometimes I forget how you guys know nothing. But I want to know. <sighs> What's an extraterrestrial? Don't know. They're not from the forest. Hello. Oh. They're from outer space. <laughs> Yeah? Check out those weird-looking humans, Wash. Those aren't humans, Sam. Those are extraterrestrials. Hmm? Look! Fur on their faces! Just like Mr. Livingstone! <laughs> If Mr. 
Mr. Livingstone is an extreme rest doll, he might steal our kibble! No! <laughs> cool it, Sam. I think Vic is trying to take us for a ride. Yeah, we gotta hide the kibble! The kibble, Sam? That's your main concern? Didn't you see the Martians carry off that adorable family dog? Mm -hmm. But you're right, kibble must be saved. Sam! Fork it over. I don't trust it under the sofa. My stomach's much safer. Morning, everybody. <laughs> What's with them? I'll feed them. They've been acting kind of distant ever since my absence. He's looking for our kibble. Or he just wants to feed us. But Mrs. L usually feeds us. Honey, where'd you put the kibble? I could have sworn we had some. For now, they can have this. What's with you guys? It's toast. <laughs> well, as you like. Sam, no, it's a trap. <laughs> Whoa, that Martian is smart. He knows I love bread. That's just proof that he knows you, Sam. It has to be Mr. Livingstone. Well, I think he looks a lot more like a Martian than Mr. Livingstone. I agree. If we get any closer, bam, he'll capture us and force us into his flying saucer. His flying saucer? Where, pray tell, is he keeping this flying saucer? Right here. Sam, that's just the shed covered with a tarp, not a flying saucer. Ah! Seriously, what's up with them? They just want to play hide and seek. Not right now, I'm afraid. I've got some building to do. Uh, hear that? He's working on his saucer in there. It must have gotten damaged when he landed. Okay, listen. Don't move. I'm gonna take a peek. Do you see anything? No. Yes, maybe. So what is it, huh? What is it? Is it a saucer? Yeah, I can't stand it anymore. I have to see. <laughs> What in the? <laughs> it's you. Now you want to be near me. Yeah! Okay, you guys were right. That is a flying saucer and he's an alien. Run for your lives! What in the world is wrong with those guys? <sighs> What's he doing? And he's communicating with his Martian friends. What's he saying to them? Probably that he couldn't find our kibble, so he's gonna bring us over dinner. <laughs> <laughs> or at least me. I'm the adorable family dog, remember? <laughs> you really think Martians are scared of wild animals, Wash? Of course they are. That's why they never come to the forest. Hey, what are you dummies doing? When I said Mr. Livingstone was a Martian, it was just a joke. That's what I thought too, Vic. Wash, Mr. Livingstone let his beard grow and got a new sweater on his trip. The pink stuff is called bubblegum. It's just a stage. Mm-hmm. And the flying saucer? Flying saucer? There's no flying saucer. Wash, do you realize what you're about to do? You're going to expose yourself entirely naked in front of Mr. Livingstone. Mm -hmm. Don't listen to her, Wash. The aliens have taken over her brain. Sorry, Vic. It's pretty obvious. Huh? There he is, Sam. Man your station.
Honey? 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 you've been using in the shed. The fumes have gone to your head. I mean it, honey. You need some fresh air. Okay, okay. Come with me. I've got something to show you. <sighs> oh, no. We blew it. If huh? Mrs. Livingstone hadn't come home, the E.T. would have gone back to his planet. What do you think? It's... It's... A spaceship! Uh, I knew it right from the beginning! What more proof do you need? Yeah, okay. This looks very bad. Truly uh, really creative! And I bet your dog here is dying to go uh, for a ride. Oh, oh, oh no! no! <laughs> Oh, I should have taken more care about the trajectory. Hey there, handsome. I was starting to miss you. Well, hello. It's my old husband. What's wrong with you guys? One would think you saw an extraterrestrial. As usual, you guys should have listened to moi. I knew all along Martians were fake. Are you sure? Come on, everyone! Lunch time! Mmm, yummy! <laughs> hey. Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Um, what are you doing? <sighs> I want to bet with a squirrel. That sandwich is mine, but I gotta get to it! Yeah, um, have you thought about climbing? Like an actual real cat? Oh, of course! That was my plan B! Stuck in a tree? Now that's video gold! Oh, wait, is that Sam? Real cat! Real cat! Go, huh? Sam! Uh, go! No. no, Sam! No! <laughs> Sammy, you certainly earned that sandwich. And you gave me some priceless footage here. Bon appetit! <laughs> Sam, we weren't laughing at you, we were laughing at the way you fell. It's different. Do it! Sam, hey! There you are! <sighs> Great! I guess you already heard that I fell out of a tree. Mm -hmm. <sighs> no, seriously! You're a natural barn comedian! Oh, yeah. 
Oh, yeah! But Vincent, how did you... Hi, Sam. I just wanted to say congratulations on your success. I admit I'm surprised. Yeah, thanks. Wait! What is going to... Good! You ask him, now you! Uh, Sam, can you sign an autograph for us? Huh? We can probably sell it. We're never selling it. Yeah, sure, if you want. What should I write? Uh, can you put two nugget with all my love? No! Oh, for Fluffy and Nugget. But mostly for Fluffy. <sighs> girls, girls, how about this? Will someone please tell me what's up with Sam? Uh, what? You don't know? OMG, Washington! Oh, and quick! Sam's in the computer! What? I, I'm not in the computer. I'm, I'm right here. <laughs> I get it. Mr. L shared that video of you online. It appears that tumble you took is a big hit, Sam. A star? I'm a star! Whoa! Well, for today, anyway. It must be from one of my goof tube fans. Yeah? Huh? <laughs> Gee, I don't care for one. Thanks! I love being a star. <laughs> and all you did was fall out of a tree. People have such weird taste. For once, we agree. <laughs> Excuse me, do you have an appointment? No, I was just bringing these... Uh, sorry, Sam is swamped. Lots of fan mail, you understand. He's booked up until at least tomorrow. Yeah. Well, then can you hold these until then? Complicated. I bet you hold it like this. If Sam can become a star with a stunt that stupid, just imagine what a triple jointed fox like me can do. You shoot, I perform. I don't know if I want to get involved in your wild animal games. Hmm, really? But I think of you as a director type, bossy. Hmm? Well, I am very visual. I suppose this would be easy enough. When do we start? So here's the deal. I rollerblade onto the trampoline, get shot into the air, and land on the mattress. You've told me this three times. I got it. Take one. My costume. Who's gonna notice? Come on, we need to take two. <sighs> Actors. Wow, all those clicks, it's a success. People love me. <laughs> it's still increasing. <laughs> well, well, who's the star now? Yeah, well, if you want my opinion, it's mostly thanks to the director's talent. Way to go, Wash. Hey, can we play too? Oh, yeah, we want to make a film. <laughs> You're too little to pull off something that sophisticated. We'll talk in five years. Aww. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. 
I just need to borrow this for a second, thanks. Vincent? Yes, sir? You've just been promoted to director. You're gonna film me. Wow! I've always wanted to work in film. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Trust me, it will be hilarious. I guess so. <laughs> In three, two, one, rolling! Meow! Meow! Now, Joy! Genius! Huh, so he wants to play dirty. Well, now it's more! Washington! Washington! Boy, am I ever gonna teach that little rat a thing or two about filmmaking. Washington! 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 It's a wrap. The tree stuff made you, but we should expand your of. Agree. I need to keep it fresh. <laughs> 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 Steel girder the first time. Right, so it's a tie. Why don't we just say we're both stars, huh? That's fine with me. I think I'm gonna take a nap. Stardom is very exhausting. There's no way we're gonna let those two losers win. I know we can outdo them. I've got tons of awesome ideas, watch. Sam! You can't do this to me. We've got to make the third part of our trilogy. What? <laughs> what was that? Oh, look. That's our video. <laughs> you really are funny when you sleep. What? That's the internet blockbuster of the year? Oh, Lane, there's not even any action. <sighs> I should have kept all the takes of Wash without his costume. It could have been huge. Gotta run. I need to seriously think about a career move. Filmmaking may not just be the right choice for me. <laughs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough, so we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Another reason to be thankful we're now indoor pets. What? What's the other reason? 
I can't see anything except green. That's what I mean. <clears throat> We're all nice and dry indoors. Instead of out in the rain for once. <sighs> What's wrong with the rain? That animal is a disgrace to cats. Seriously, Wash. Rainy days in the woods weren't so bad. Are you kidding? We can never find a bush big enough to cover your butt. I would always burrow deep into my foxhole until it was over. <sighs> no wonder you decided to glom onto my awesome indoor life. Like pooping in a box? Okay, Washington, time to do your business. Let's go, boy. <laughs> Come on, Washington, I don't want to play chase right now. <laughs> Washington? <laughs> Come on, Wash, where are you? <laughs> Wash! <laughs> Mercy, not as young as I used to be. <laughs> Is this fun for you? Because it is not fun for me. Come on, Wash, where are you? <laughs> Almost too easy. Gotcha! What has gotten into you? Washington won't go out. I don't know why he's acting this way. Maybe he just doesn't want to get soaked. Think about it, dear. Hey, I'm not the one who goes to the bathroom outside. Washington, I'm going to go dry off. Then I'm going to take an aspirin and lie down. When I come back, you are going outside. Ooh, you're yeah. in trouble. All right, all right. You don't have to make it so dramatic. What else are we going to do? Many days are boring. You just better hope the rain stops by the time Mr. L comes back. Big deal. Even if it does, no problemo. I can hold it. Not me. I gotta go. Be back. Get out of Let's all go together. <laughs> Guess I'm the only one who goes to the bathroom outdoors. Like a gentleman. How long can this rain last anyway? Washington? Washington? <laughs> but where the heck is that dumb dog? <laughs> wow. What the? This ottoman can use a good scrub. It stinks. Or I need to wash my feet. Oh, Washington! <laughs> what? I do not stink. A human's nose is a hundred times less sharp than ours, and he could still smell you. Yes, you do stink. <sighs> After dinner, tonight. No way! I bet for tomorrow, 8 a.m. I give him one more hour before he explodes. No, you guys are awful. They can't believe this is what you think of Washington, our friend. Thank you, Sam. He can last at least two days, and I'm willing to bet everything I've got on that. 
<laughs> I can't decide if I'm flattered or betrayed. It's hard to think when you really, really have to go. Hey! <laughs> not in your dreams, not in your imagination, not even in your imagination while you're dreaming. Fine, you're not the only one with a litter box. No, but I'm the only one with a litter box that employs anti-you technology. <laughs> This is a mess. Is that a bone? Ugh. Sam, what are you eating? No, oh, no! It would be more painful to use that litter box than to hold it in any longer. What is all this? Eugenie, your crate is filled with junk. It's not junk. A sleeping bag with storage pocket, a weird clock, a bunch of small portraits of numbers, and that's an apple. No way, it's too tight. I need bathroom! 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 Stop! You can't fit in there! No, Washington, the need to pee is getting to your brain! You've gone crazy! <laughs> bathroom! I think it's time for action. Bathroom! Oh. <coughs> You know, splashing me with water isn't the best way to get me to forget that I have to go to the bathroom. <gasps> Wait! This is where the humans go. I can just use this room like they do. Some privacy, please. You can't. It's impossible. Who knows if humans even go to the bathroom? Of course humans go to the bathroom. How do you know? I've smelled things. <laughs> Great. You can discuss this further outside. <laughs> Send me a recap. Okay, Washington, you can figure this out. What would a human do in here? No, that can't be right. How are you supposed to bury it after you're done? Maybe they use these to smell better after they've done their business. But there are so many different ones. Man, humans must really stink the place up. Well, I know it couldn't be this big water bowl. Who would do such a thing to perfectly good drinking water? Forget it. Maybe Sam's right because I don't see how humans can use this room at all. Privacy! <laughs> Go take a hike! No, oh, how can every bush be taken? I can't just go out in the open like this! I can't do this to food! No! Oh. How can so many things fit under one sink? No more choice! I can't hold it anymore! Wash? Washington? But what are you doing, boy? Just look at that! That's amazing! 
this little fella just learned how to go by himself now. What a clever dog. This really deserves a photo, dear. Sure it does. <laughs> See you later, boy. And don't forget to flush when you leave. <laughs> ah, free at last. And it's a beautiful day now. Hmm, I like the smell of the grass after the rain. What? <laughs> Don't worry, Betty. I got you covered. Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. You're ours, Golden Rake. Do you really think we have a chance to win the Golden Rake Garden of the Year contest? Absolutely. Rosebud, this is the year we finally win this thing. Uh, it's the first year we've entered. Exactly. I can feel it. No, not my flowers. Freeze, please. Inside, this yard is hereby off limits until the Golden Rake Garden of the Year contest is over. Stay inside all day? What are we supposed to do? Watch TV! <gasps> oh no! Vic is falling asleep in front of Fishbowl TV! Boring. <laughs> <laughs> Slick trick, Wash. Yeah. <gasps> Who's that? Barbarossas! When he wants to cool off, the Barbarossa rolls in the mud, just like his cousin, the wild boar. We're family. I can see the resemblance. Ha! Stay tuned for the entire season of The Wonderful World of Barbarossas. <sighs> What's going on? Mrs. Livingstone! <laughs> oh. The Babarusa likes to eat at any given time of the day. Oh. <laughs> Who would do such a thing? <laughs> <laughs> I hate to say it, but, well, do you think... Come on, Buttercup. Only wild animals could do such a thing. <laughs> Do you hear that? They think it was us! It's okay. We were watching the wonderful world of Babarusas all night. And how do we prove that? We're gonna have to find the creature with no manners who did this. <laughs> Victoria Livingstone, where were you in the middle of the night? Tell him, you were in the yard! What? I was asleep! <sighs> Having horrible nightmares thanks to your Barbarusa cousins. Cousins who like to run in the jungle and play in the mud. Ugh. Impressive, aren't they? In fact, they're showing the wonderful world of Barbarusas again tonight. Uh, no way. My turn. I'm watching Fishbowl TV. Where's the remote? Right here. <laughs> Give it! Ah! Barbarusas love to roll around in the mud. They never ah! <laughs> Scissors. Scissors. <sighs> Watering can. Watering can, stat. Watering can. Well? 
I think they'll pull through. Be strong. But if it happens again, I'm not sure I'll be able to save them. Don't worry, Daffodil. I'm going to stand guard all night. I still wonder a tiny bit. Was it really wild animals or our animals? Well, this gang can get a little wild. <laughs> <laughs> they think it was us. Well, it'll be extra sweet when we catch the culprit. We're going to get extra food. Yes! Father Rooster is an extremely social animal. They regularly rob each other's stouts. Jim Redpod, spread out! The wild beast is escaping! <laughs> We're finally gonna discover who the wild beast is! Stand! <laughs> Sam? <laughs> Washington? Is that you? Oh no! Mr. Livingstone is gonna see Sam without his disguise! This is a catastrophe! <laughs> Quick, Sam! Gotta get home! <laughs> <laughs> Did you find the wild beast wash? Don't move, boy! I'm coming! <laughs> Way to go, Wash! You chased away the wild beast! Whatever it was, you saved our garden! And to think that we thought it could have been you! Sorry, boy! <laughs> Me? The wild beast? Impossible! You must have <laughs> so, you started dreaming of Babarusas. <laughs> Next thing you know, you were sleepwalking as one of them. <laughs> so, I am the garden beast? Don't worry, I've got a great plan. All you have to do is stay up and not sleep at all until the Garden of the Year contest is over. Not sleep? But I love to sleep. Almost here. Good thing Eugenie's keeping Sam awake. Yeah, but I'm not keeping Sam awake. Susie's doing it. I'm not keeping Sam awake because I'm here. <gasps> Sam! Sam! What's original about the Bobby Rooster is that sometimes it behaves like a cat. Huh? Indeed, sometimes he likes to play like a cat. Here they come. I can't stand it. Stay calm, Buttercup. I oh. am not. Not if we catch him before he does. Follow me, girls. Nice, Sam. Nice. 
<laughs> Actually, this show isn't so bad. Look at this. The wild boar is surprisingly fast on its feet. For a fatty, that is. <laughs> to our garden. The most peaceful spot in our home. Faced with danger, the wild boar proves to be a formidable adversary. Stay here to think about what you've done. <laughs> At the end of the day, the battle rooster falls asleep. But sometimes in the middle of the night, he wakes up. <laughs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. I put the energy commuters in, I activate the directional multiprocessor, and good as new. Yay, it's fixed! Who's a techno wizard? Who? <laughs> a simple nap on my own armchair. Please let me know when I can come back. One more magic trick, one more. Well, since you insist, now that I fixed it, I can do this. Oh. Or this. Ha! Oh. Or this. Big hurry, he's not just a vacuum cleaner, he's a computer. And thanks to his fancy computer parts, he can clean your house without you. So go out and enjoy life. Great home. Now, there is a piece of technology worthy of my talents. And Craig is a great name. It's for me! Is it your new action figure? No, but almost as cool. Oh. I am Craig. I What's am going old. on? <gasps> is that Craig, the computer vacuum cleaner from TV? You know him? Of course! Oh, sweetie, you're the best! Now we can go out and enjoy life! I bet that was quite a splurge. I, uh, yeah, right! Nothing is too good for my wife! Scanning, oh. scanning, scanning! scanning. It's incredible! Diagnosis, filthy! You are likely busy professionals. It is okay. Crank is home. Let's not waste another second in this pigsty. <laughs> Let's go to Mexico! 
Let's meet my new friend. Craig, I'm Washington. I am Craig. Oops. Sorry, dude. No hands. Look, I hear you're very smart. Guess what? I am too, so I... Hello, I am Craig. I am home. Hello, I am Craig. I am home. Uh, okay. We'll talk more later. I am Craig. Huh? I am home. person in this house. Now, I would like to sleep. Dirty! What? A vacuum? Ah! No! Oh, wow! A vacuum! Uh, and how it's may I help you? I think she's trying to sing. It's a vac vac a vacuum cleaner, <laughs> yes. And also a computer. I ordered him. For a scientific experiment. What? You're the one who brought that monster into the house? Technically speaking, it wasn't me, me. Ow, again! <gasps> Yippee! <laughs> <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Wait, look what he can do. Craig, over here, buddy. <laughs> Dirty. Well, Craig, you don't really seem all that smart. My expert opinion tells me there's a glitch in his fancy computer parts, and that's a job for a high-tech whiz, which is me. Washington, stay away. Send that monster back to its lair. We have a broom. Trust me, I know what I'm doing. Oh. Nice. I think you broke him. <laughs> now we're talking. <laughs> <laughs> I love hacking. Nice job, genius. Okay, so he needs a minor adjustment. <laughs> now he should work like a charm. Um, what? Normal? Oh, yeah. The lights are just decoration. It's a bad dream. It's a bad dream. Wake up. Wake up. Come on, morning. Okay, Craig. I'm starting to regret this purchase. I know where the receipt is. Faster, Sam. You're going to get your butt vacuumed up. Come on. Get lost, you. Bad appliance. Do I even need to say it? You're a big dummy. Thanks for a great day. No, but seriously, we're safe up here. Safe? Oh, sure. Everything is fine. In fact, I think I'll just... Oh. Yeah. Hey, look! Craig wants to play tag, too! find a way out of the house. Can you guys hear me? Huh? Barely, you guys! Vic, you'll lure Craig. No way am I going to be breakfast for that crazy vacuum. You brought him into the house. You make him leave. Okay, look. I have other great plans. Just head out the door. Forget the plan. Dirty, dirty. Dirty. Sam, remember the plan. Dirty. This way. Come on. Dirty. 
Slow now. No sudden movement. I don't want to run away anymore. I'm stronger than that machine. You don't scare me, you stupid can! Oh! oh. You guys, give him more stuff to suck up. We gotta fill him up! This is even better than cartoons! <laughs> There's nothing left to throw! Yes, there is! That. It was great knowing you, Wash. You too, Vic. No, not you! Your costumes! Impossible! No way am I going back to the forest! Oh, yeah? You'd prefer to be swallowed and ground to a pulp by a killer robot? You got no choice, Wash. Farewell, Dream Home. outside and enjoy life again. We'll pretend we never saw this. Let's go back to Mexico. I still don't understand what went wrong. Well, on the bright side, I no longer wish I had my computer. <laughs> Looks like I made a very smart exchange. Cut, cut, cut. I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Do that. I have a camera. And tape all the cute things our little gang does when we leave. Great idea, hon. 
Now, if I can just remember where I put it. So, where is His Spoiled Majesty Washington? Oh, no. When I left, he was having a bad dream. I didn't want to huh? interrupt. I mean, where is he sleeping? One of his stupid secret spots? I can't say. Hmm. Come on. It must be a pretty quiet spot if you can sleep this late. <laughs> Hmm, I've checked the closet, so I know he's not in the closet. Hmm, you might as well just tell me. Oh, you can have the rest of my breakfast. Mm -hmm. Here. Perfect. Rig that bad boy in 3.4 seconds. And not a moment too soon. We're going to be late. Have a good day, Furbacks! That includes you, Washington! Shake a leg, boy! <laughs> Everyone, just a Perfectly normal for the nice camera. Perfectly normal. Coast clear? Mm -hmm. What's up, Earthlings? Hmm. I'm starving. <laughs> Next up, a hamster who paints! If I, I must, must, I, I must. must. Hey, what's your problem? The problem is you. Hey! Oh. What'd I do? <laughs> yeah. ah. Thanks for attacking Wash. That was nice. What are you talking about? Yeah, show me where he sleeps. No way. I promise. Hey, I know. How about you guys get off of me right now? Oops. Sorry, Washington. What? is going on? You've been caught on tape. Naked. What? What's gonna happen when the living stones watch the tape and see a fox in their kitchen? We're doomed. What? Don't be silly. You know, I'm great with electronics. I just have to erase the tape. Come on, trust me. Must be a new model. Hmm. Come on, delete! Delete, delete, delete! <laughs> okay, great. Let's try something else. Oh, so you didn't show the camera who's the boss of it? Nope, but I've got a new plan. And Vic, you're a big part of it. What kind? I had to touch fur with you beasts once today already. Trust me, you're gonna like this. But first, Sam, go get me my suit. Hmm, that looks comfy. Wash said to focus. Be gone, dirty beast. Uh, I'm trying. Cretinous Cretan! Uh, <laughs> okay, Vic, we're good. Dreaded Phil Taxi! Again, uh, thank you. You're done. OMG! No! Washington, run! <laughs> The Living Stones! 
Well, hello. What nice pets you are. Too nice if you ask me. <laughs> did you guys do something naughty? Did you? I bet you did. Well, why don't we see for ourselves, dear? <laughs> <laughs> what in the... Oh, my oh, goodness! No. How, How did a, a wild, wild fox get, get in, in here? here? But wait, look, look! They fought him off! They fought him off! Look at Victoria! Oh, our little heroes! But wait, where's Washington? 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 Washington! Are you thinking what I'm thinking? for a second. Not even for a nanosecond. This is a nightmare. I know. Wash is out there all alone. I've got to do something. I just meant us sharing a lap. You better tell me where his secret room is. There he is! Huh? I think I saw him! Are you sure? Small with red hair and a ferocious smile? Yes, exactly. <laughs> uh... Oops, wait a minute. My mistake, it was just my son. Get back in here. <laughs> oh no, Sam! Quick, he needs fresh air. <laughs> Not too much, the fox could get in. I'll get you some water, Sammy. <laughs> I think he needs treats, too. Forget about wearing it. Just throw it out the window. And have everyone see Washington's costume just lying on the ground? Oh, yeah. They might wonder where his bones went, huh? Sam, you're good and stuck. Do something, please. You're welcome. Now you have to tell me where this stupid secret spot is. Well, I am grateful for your help. There's huh? only one way I can consider it. Are you kidding? You want me to wear that moldy, crusty, smelly boy dog costume? If you want to see the secret spot. Fine. But that's dealing dirty. Washington. Washington. Oh. No. Washington! Where are you, you stupid beast? Huh? What the? Why are you hiding in this filthy suit, you... Oh, dog food? Wait a minute. Oh. <gasps> Washington! It's me! <sighs> Hello, me? Uh Dummy! Now get me out of this germ blanket! Whoa! It's you! Awesome! I thought it was you that was me! <gasps> Come on! Act scared! Arf, 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 arf. Oh, thank ah. goodness! We were so worried! Oh, 
Okay, have we got everybody now? <laughs> yes, Animal Control, it's me again, uh, Mr. Livingstone. I'm just calling to say that it seems a fox did not kidnap our dog. That's right, did not. Well, it's all yours. Congrats and stuff. Hmm, it needs work, but I'll take it. Washington's secret hideout is finally mine. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. You should probably get the hang of it then, huh? That, my friend, is called a cat treat. <laughs> Sam, less weird bear, more cat. <laughs> Better, now stretch! Good! Stay in the moment. Think feline. Meow! Hey, you two! Bug up! Catnam is for real cats! I'm the real cat. Don't! The point is, I should be able to have one thing in this house that's mine. Is that too much to ask? Hi, you guys. Hi, guys. Hi, what? It's our birthday. Again? We're having a party Tuesday night. Our lady goes to bingo on Tuesday. We'd love to come. Uh -huh. Sorry, only Vic made the guest list. Congratulations, Vic! We don't even like each other. True, but we need more indoor pets with proper training for this party. It's going to be 50% fancier this year. And we're having sheet cake. Party entertaining. Okay, I'll come to your fet or whatever, but they come too. We're a package deal. <laughs> oh, Sam, we're about to taste frosting. I hope it's purple. Um, no way are you coming near our cake. Oh, okay, bye. Yeah. Come on, you guys. Away, let them come. My presents, Fluff. Fine. But you'll all be kicked out before kick. And if you make a mess, act like dorks, or bring an unawesome present. <gasps> no sweat, kitten mittens. I'm going to prep them myself. Get set to be charmed. Yay! <laughs> You've been attending these fancy pet parties for years. You're really going to share your inside tips with us? Goop hug! <laughs> Thank you, Vic! We're gonna have shit cake! Do we get presents, too? What about ice cream? Saddle! <gasps> you have much to learn before sheet cake. <laughs> Ready? And lift! <laughs> yeah. Oh, 
Well done, Eugenie. Okay, good. Eugenie, Suze, how about you two go find the perfect present for Nugs and Fluff? We'd love to! Yes, please! Faster, come on! Winner gets extra birthday cake! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Victoria! You okay? You know what? None of those gifts were snazzy enough for Nugget and Fluffy. I know, but where are we going to find Pure Class? <sighs> Nice throne! What do you want? I said, nice throne! Mm -hmm. Maybe we want it! Little birdie talk big, but can you afford it? Um, how about one tiny second? <laughs> Thanks, Sam. Yes, I mean it. It's almost dead. Ta da Okay, so you want to play. You two are now the perfect guests. Yay! Yes! Fluffy, <laughs> I'm leaving for bingo. Don't fight! I'll be home soon! It's party time! Even more boring than last year, and that already was quite a challenge. I hope they love it! Well, it sounds perfect. Uh... <laughs> For you, neighbors! Oh, we'll take that. Get up! Box, which smells like uh, sidewalk. No, it's a throne, a beautiful throne. Sure, it could use a paint job. Take it away, get it out of here. We hate our present. <laughs> what about the cake? The girls, quick, go find a new present. What? <laughs> Got this, you just enjoy. This is your day. Are we not gentlemen? Ah! Are you guys nuts? Our lady will be home soon. But it's your birthday, it's customary. Fix it. Huh? Ah! Please, we just want to. Cake time? <laughs> 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 <gasps> you guys, that 
sounds like animal control. Oh, animal control! We got a noise complaint! Hello? Everybody hide! Hey, there's the troublemakers! Three crazed cats! Come on, let's get them! Where are they? Did they go get coffee? Oh, who cares? Run! Ah. Sam, let's go! No! joke to spice up your boring party. <gasps> you owe us a present. Well, good night, you two. Good night. These carriers are breaking my arms. You two are going on a diet. Sorry about the fuss. Fighting with the neighbors, ending up in the pound. What has gotten into you, Vic? Oh, come on, dear. Let's go to bed. My party days are officially over. Good night, Sam. Good night, Vic. Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough, so we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. This is just what I needed. A little chill time in the park. <laughs> I like to chill on the couch, but then I'm a cat. We don't really like the park or other animals, do we, Vic? <sighs> what? <laughs> come on, boy, come on. Let's play fetch. Oh, no, not this game again. I don't get it. What's the point? I know. There's not even treats. Come on, Wash! Let's go, boy! <laughs> as soon as we get back, I'm burying all the furry green balls where no one can find them ever again. Go get it, Wash! Go on, fetch! <laughs> Watch it, Washington! That's my ball! <laughs> hey! <laughs> Alvarez! <laughs> I can see you, Washington. I can see all of you. And you're all coming back to the wild with me, where you belong. <laughs> fetch, wash, fetch! <sighs> fetch, wash, fetch, fetch, fetch. Good boy, Washington. Good boy. Arf, arf. As always, Alvarez, you are perfection. Woof, woof. Woof, woof. Alvarez is simply the best. Oh, but my Washington can... Alvarez brings that ball back no matter what. <laughs> no matter what. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
make Mr. L look bad in front of Mr. Snobinski and Alvarez. I just can't. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Where are you, you stupid fuzzy ball? Oh, tough stuff, Livingstone. Looks like your dog lost the ball. Not good, not good. Fetch the ball, Washington, fetch. <laughs> 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 Mr. L seems really embarrassed. <laughs> I found your ball wash, and now you have to come get it from me. <laughs> Ooh, it's the pretty little house cat. She has to come too. Silly little bull. <laughs> You're fun. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Sam. Help mm -hmm. me get that ball back. But I'm a cat. I'm supposed to relax. <sighs> Cheer him up. <laughs> and Vic, you. Ooh, I know what I can do. Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I saw it land over in this area, but I don't see it. Well, maybe it bounced further back. After it landed and rolled up the hill, turned around that corner with the big trees, and fell down a hole where it came out by a river, and went downstream where it was discovered by little green men from outer space. Ha ha, very funny. What is? Uh, never mind. What the huh? Mitch? Come on, we gotta get that ball back. But be careful, we can't let him see us or he'll take us back into the wild. <laughs> Are you trying to take my ball? Uh, well, technically, that's our ball. No! Yeah. You <laughs> can't have it! It's my ball! Mine! My ball! Mine! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ha ha ha! 
because I'm a cat. Phew, I think we lost him. Where are you guys? That's my ball. Mine. Give it back. <laughs> Come on, Sam. Let's go cheer up Mr. L. Surprise! Uh oh. Ball! <coughs> Fudge! Got it, Ollie! Go get it! Aha! Uh -huh. Hmm. <coughs> um, you can keep her. Yeah. We'll take the ball. What? Are you serious? Washington? What are you saying? You heard me. I mean, she never wants to play with us, and she never really wants to help us either, so yeah. Bye, baby. Enjoy life in the wild. Arf, arf, arf. Washington? Washington? Wash, good boy. You always bring that ball back, no matter what. <laughs> Alvarez, get ready, boy. Oh! Oh! Yeah! I got it! I got it! I got it! <laughs> no, go away! It's my ball! My ball! You weren't really gonna leave me in the woods with Mitch, were you? Of course not. It was all part of my plan. I knew he couldn't resist the ball. I just needed a second to make it happen. Hmm. Oh, and I didn't really mean what I said. Though it's all true, but I didn't mean it. <gasps> my ball! I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. girls want to learn to bake cookies? Maybe I'll give you a little cookie dough for a treat. Oh, yay! We're going to make cookies! Yippee! <laughs> you may have to compete with Washington. some fun tonight. Huh? We are? Oh, yes, we are. <laughs> It'll be fun for the whole family. You'll see. <laughs> okay, come on. Tell me what it is. It's something no cat can resist. It's a laser pen. And not just any laser pen. It's the Phantom Red 3000. Let the games begin. <laughs> Come on, then catch it! Whoops, I'm too fast for you! 
What is that thing she's chasing? I don't know, but whatever it is, she really wants it. We meet again, Red Dot, but this time you will be mine. <laughs> Sam, what's wrong? <laughs> what kind of cat doesn't want to catch the dot? Did you hear that, Sam? You gotta catch that dot. But I don't care about the dot. Well, you better fake it. Fake it? <laughs> <laughs> Sam, if you don't get out there and catch that dot, Mr. L is going to find out you're not really a cat. <clears throat> catch the dot! Catch the dot! Go on, champ! Catch the dot! Catch the dot! Catch the dot! Huh? I'll catch you, red dot! <laughs> Sam, I've never seen a cat with such horrible aim! <laughs> <laughs> what? Stand in my way, you clumsy boar! Oh, I'm suddenly married to a big kid. He's going crazy with that toy. <laughs> in this family. Win, win, win! Dot! <laughs> Get it, Sam. If you love this comfy life, you'll catch that dot! Red dot! Red dot! Come on, Sam, I'm with you! Come on, Sammy, you're the best! Come on, Sam! <laughs> Red dot! Red dot! Must catch the red dot! <laughs> Sam, you're the clumsiest cat ever! <laughs> red dot, red dot, must catch the red dot at all costs, at all costs. If I didn't know any better, I'd say he isn't faking it anymore. At all costs, at all costs. Red dot, red dot. Red dot, red dot, red dot. <laughs> <laughs> Cookie dough? Huh? Oh boy! Cookie dough! Gimme, 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 gimme! <laughs> red dot, red dot, must catch the red dot at all costs! <laughs> red dot! You can do it, champ! That dot is yours! Don't give up now! You're so close! Now listen to me! Carve into those turns when the dot takes those corners. Now, don't let Vic intimidate you. Just get right up there in front of her. Even if her claws do hurt a little. Oh yeah, and can you try not to whiz by Eugenie and Susie so much? They're pretty dizzy. I love this kid. Dot, red dot, must catch the red dot. You know you're never gonna get it, right? Dot. Wait, what? Red dot. How do you know that? Because, hello, no cat has ever caught the red dot before. Huh? The cat who finally does catch the red dot will become the enlightened feline leader. Hmm. But that is pretty much definitely no way going to be Sam. No offense, Sam, but you are definitely not a cat. <laughs> And since I'm the only cat here, that means you're going to lose. Oh! <laughs> Catch the dot! Catch the dot at all costs! Catch the dot! <laughs> huh? You really can't catch.
catch this. <laughs> 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 I think I need a timeout. Good idea. <laughs> red dot. Get the red dot. <laughs> Come on, get it, Sam. Oh, yeah. <laughs> get it, Vic. <laughs> oh, boy. This has to end. I gotta talk to Sam. Uh, Sam, listen, buddy. We gotta talk. Uh, I think Vic's right. You're never gonna catch that dot. So, you should stop now. Catch the dot. Catch the dot. Uh, Sam? Catch the dot. Catch the dot. Tell him, Vic. Tell him. Red dot. 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 Red that red stupid dot. red dot red has dot. turned this entire red household dot. upside red down. Red dot. <laughs> stupid red dot. Making everyone crazy. Destroying everything. Stupid dot. Stupid dot that cannot <gasps> be caught. Ah, wait a minute. I need your help. I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. What's Alec he doing? Sam, oh, he's playing here. Fancy Fetch. It's where you get dressed up and play fetch with a black and white stick. Amazing Alfie makes flowers appear. 
nuts. Why isn't this working? Oh, wrong sleeve. Yes, haha, I did it. It's amazing. I don't think this is fetch. Where did those flowers come from? Obviously, they came from the garden he's hiding in his arm. Ah, there's nothing like a good dig to remind me what it's like to be a boar. Know what I mean, Susie? Sure do. Sometimes I just fly around to remind me what it's like to be a bird. But you're a bird disguised as a bird. When do you not feel like a bird? Eugenie, stop. Holes are dangerous. You don't know what's down there. Fine. What are you guys doing? Watching Alfie, he's doing a weird fetch dance with his garden arm. <laughs> what is he doing with that bunny? I can't see! Eugenie, stop! You could get hurt! Or worse, really hurt! What is it with you today, Sam? Why aren't you letting me do anything? I'm just looking out for you. As your big brother, it's my job to do that. When I remember to. Well, I don't need you to. I'm a big boar, and I can take care of myself. Sam Alcazir. Whoa. Where did the bunny go? Clearly, the bunny went to the market to get hors d'oeuvres. Huh, you don't know the rules of fancy fetch at all. Wash, stop pretending you know what's happening. He's doing a magic trick. Humans watch them for fun. Ah, sounds like fun. Not if it means being close to Alfie. One time, he spit bubblegum in my fur. Uh? He's gross and sticky and a menace to animals everywhere. <sighs> You've been through so much. Oh no, Bonnie, I'm sorry. I don't know my own strength. Why? <laughs> Told you, he's a lunatic. Alfie, what happened? I I lost my bunny because I'm super strong, and now all my friends will think I'm a bad magician, which means I'll never get invited to birthday parties, which means I'll never have cake again. Cake! <laughs> hey. Is this your bunny? Yep. Her name's Eugenie, remember? Could I borrow her? Huh? <gasps> well, uh, Alfie, I... Please, please, please! It's show and tell at my school and I need a bunny for my magic trick. What am I supposed to do? Make a rock disappear? No one cares about rocks, Mr. L. <laughs> rocks are stupid! Okay, okay. You can borrow Eugenie if you promise to take very good care of her. I'll do better than that. I'll take very, 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 very good care of her. We're gonna have the best day ever. We gotta rescue her. Who's with me? Me! Aren't you coming, Vic? As much as I long to be a hero, someone's gotta stay behind in case Eugenie comes home. You're so smart. We're so close, I can almost taste it! <laughs> it tastes like dirty bus! Hurry up, guys! No time to sleep! We're coming for you, Eugenie! Eugenie can fly! No, she can't! They're tossing her around! Yo! My baby sister's in danger! She could get hurt or air sick or swallow a fly! Or well, those kids can find her zipper and know she's not a real bunny! You didn't see what happened to the last bunny? So many dangers! Oh, hi, are you the cutest? I could hug you all day. So fluffy. <laughs> if Sam could see me now, he'd know I could take care of myself. You guys should really stop running into things with your faces. Oh, so cute. Wow, your buddy's funny. I wish I had one instead of a stupid goldfish. Hugh Genie, you're cooler than a T-Rex and a lion combined. We're going to kick butt at the show and tell. I heard there was a project today. Everybody in? Great. We're almost there, buddy! Except for this locked fence! And humans everywhere! What do you want to do before school starts? 
Let's play pirates! Arr, Eugenie! Let's dig for treasure! Arr! Is she digging? She knows how I feel about home. It's gonna be okay, Sam. It's not like... Ah! Oh, no! Is she yeah. in a tree? You need to be on the lookout for scoundrels who are after me treasure! This is awesome! Hey, is that Sam and Wash? That's not safe! Eugenie, stop jumping! Screaming doesn't help, Sam. Susie, can you send a message? <laughs> Susie, check it out! I'm in the tree! No way! Me too! Oh, and I have a message from Sam. He says, get down from this tree this instant, young lady! Why is he being so overprotective? I'm fine! I don't have a scratch on me. You can tell him I say no. I'm having a blast. Besides, Alfie's nice. Mm, that's a lot to remember, but I'll try. Eugenie says no way. She's having some gas. Besides, Alfie likes rice. Alfie must have given Eugenie a head injury because that's crazy talk. That's the last straw. We've got to find a way in without being seen. I have an idea. <laughs> Hey, Bush. Quiet, Sam. Bushes don't talk. You're gonna blow our cover. What if someone hears you? They'd have super hearing because no one's here. Where is everyone? Yeah! Welcome to Show and Tell, everyone. First up is Billy. Hello, everyone. This is my pet, Ant. Oh, oh no! Where'd he go? No one move! He has a family! <laughs> All right, Billy. We'll keep an eye out for your tiny pet ant. Oh, okay. Next up is, uh, the Amazing Alfie. I am the Amazing Alfie. <laughs> for my first trick, I'm gonna make my bunny <laughs> magically disappear. <laughs> Alakazam, Alakazat! Eugenie, disappear in this hat. <laughs> now are we going to get Eugenie now? Oh no, this is what happened to the last bunny right before it landed in the street. Wait, where did she go? <gasps> where did she go? Is this part of the show? This is better than TV. Elsie brought those bushes to life. I did? Oh, that's great! My magic powers are stronger than I knew! Kids, inside now! <laughs> we have to get to Alfie! He's the only one who can bring Eugenie back! Sam! Huh? Sam! <laughs> Eugenie, you didn't disappear! Of course not, silly! I've just been hanging out in here! Check it out! <laughs> 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 I was worried sick about you, and you were lounging? You don't need to be worried. I'm big enough to handle things on my own. I know I'm adorable, but I'm not a baby. She's right, Sam. Eugenie was on her own all day, and she's still in one piece. <laughs> I guess you're right. I just worry because I care. You may not be a baby, but you'll always be my little sister. And you'll always be my big brother. <laughs> and I'll always be a bird. Sorry, I thought we were all saying what we are. I'll try to be less overprotective. <laughs> That's all I ever want. Today. Sorry, I don't want to disturb your touching reconciliation, but what are we doing with Alfie? The panic will spread. We'll be accused of black magic. That's right. And you said he was nice. However, he's disgusting and sticky. You're right. Let's go party. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, that's not fair. Look what you did. You ruined show and tell. Turn those bushes back. I'm sorry, but I don't know how. Huh? Mm -hmm. Alakazam, Alakazop. Magic, make those bushes stop! It was awesome. The 
bushes were like poof, and the kids were like ah, but I saved the day. Watch. Alakazam, Alakazee! Magic, help me move that tree! Huh? Wow, Alfie, you're quite the magician. You just need to practice. I can't believe I woke up for this. Huh? The tree's alive! It really is magic! That's it! Here we are! <laughs> you see? I told you it was useful to dig holes! <laughs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough, so we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Today is the day! Wienerfest! <laughs> we won't be back until late! Did you hear that? Yeah. We have the house to ourselves all day! Huh? I call dibs on the couch! No way! And Wash, I'm counting on you to be my watchdog, okay? <laughs> okay, boy. Scare away all those burglars. Burglars? For real? Like on TV? Oh. <sighs> Nap time. Yay! Oh. Nap time! Oh. Are you two nuts or what? Yeah. <laughs> uh -huh. yeah. Wash, go away! And if I find you, you're a big, fat, rotten pestle sprout! Sorry, Sam. I've got to focus. What? Oh, come on! You're gone for hours! This is our chance! Yeah, well, that was before Mr. Livingstone asked me to protect the house from burglars. No. <gasps> burglars? You mean like on TV? Uh, yeah. I guess so. Burgers? Are we scared of burgers now? Duh! You... Burglars! Like thieves who go into houses and steal people's stuff. There have been a bunch of burglaries in the neighborhood. Thieves have been stealing all the pet squeak toys. Their kibble. <laughs> but most of all, the TV set! <laughs> Sam, I'm the watchdog. I've got this. <laughs> Watchdog, you? You think you could protect this house with your ridiculous bark? First of all, I've made some major progress with my barks. And second, I know how it's done. I've seen watchdogs on TV. All I have to do is make the rounds and secure the perimeter. Wow, he is like so brave. I want to be a watchdog too. Let's go watch TV and see how it's Shall we get some popcorn first? All right. No one. Nobody in here. Nobody here either. Nobody here either. So there's burglars trying to get into the house and there's no reason we should be worried? Of course there's no reason to be worried. Wash is here to protect us. Hmm? <laughs> Susie, the popcorn! <laughs> Nothing in here. <laughs> All clear. <laughs> Nothing unusual in here. <laughs> Wash, it was just a joke. There haven't been any burglaries in the neighborhood. 
Oh. Did you say something? <sighs> Nothing in here. Nothing like a good burglar movie. But I'm still waiting to find out how you secure a parameter. <laughs> Rest easy, guys. Nobody's in there. Oh, I can't find the house keys. Didn't you put them in my purse? Mm -hmm. You didn't. I... I did. I left the keys in the door. We're locked out. Maybe, just maybe, the door isn't completely closed. Maybe it will open all by itself. Friends, I have secured the perimeter. There isn't a burglar alive who'll be able to break in here. Ah! Someone is trying to get into the house. If you hadn't secured the perimeter, I'd even say it sounds like a... A burglar! A burglar? Wait a sec, this may all be a mistake. I'm going to try all my keys. You never know. <laughs> may, may, maybe it's just a visitor. Or the living stones. Let's look through the mail slot. <laughs> it is a burglar. A visitor would ring the bell. Yeah. And the owls have keys. Burglars? Cool! Go wash! Go! Save us! Yes! Risk everything! Um, actually, you see, I'm not really sure how to... Of course you know! Do like you learned on TV! I'll help you! Well, um, I secured the perimeter, but uh, I don't know what comes next. Bark, Wash, bark! That's what watchdogs do! But I don't know how to bark! You said so yourself! I take back everything I said. Please bark, pretty please, make those horrible burglars go away. Go away, Washington, do, do it, it, please. <laughs> arf, 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 wolf, wolf, arf. I can bark too. Woof, 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 woof. Yeah. Oh, yeah. we're sconers. They're going to steal our toys and kibble and... my life. I really wish I were wrong. Okay, so maybe I'm not a watchdog, but I am going to protect you. Listen up. Here's what we're going to do. You guys are going to go my and I'm going to... Oh, I'm going to try the kitchen door. Maybe if I can wiggle through the cat flap, I'll be able to reach the key. <laughs> yeah! What happened to you? You know, I really wish you'd start putting your tools away. <coughs> ah! Ouch! Yes! Yes! What in the world is all that flour? Uh, since when do we keep flour in the bedroom? Uh, okay, let's try the bathroom. <laughs> oh. oh, why, oh, why did I put all my bath stuff above the window? not be a watchdog, but I sure know a thing or two about watching TV. <laughs> no. No, Wash. Calm down now. Calm down. It's me. You can't believe a burglar. He's imitating Mr. L's voice, so we'll let him in. Get in through the front door, and Washington didn't even recognize me. And I gotta tell you, his bark is freaking me out. <sighs> big problems require big solutions. Hello, Mr. Locksmith? Well, those stupid burglars won't be coming back anytime soon. Oh, who's, who's the greatest watchdog? Watchdog! Who's the greatest watchdog? Not good. The burglars have brought back a... Yeah, that was some major tools to open the door. No! Oh, only one thing left.
left to do. Eugenie, Sam, we gotta zip out of our costumes. <laughs> what? The burglars won't expect to see wild animals in the house. If we can scare them, then we're home free. Me too, I'm gonna take off my costume. Did you open the door? How much do we owe you? Forget it! It's free! As long as you promise to never call me again! The living stones are back! Quick! We're home! Good dog, good dog. What a great watchdog you are, Washington. Unbelievable. I almost wonder if he didn't understand when I told him to protect the house. No. Beware of dog. I never realized what a great watchdog Wash is. It's only fair to warn intruders they don't stand a chance around here. <laughs> Did you hear that, Vic? Beware of dog! So, who was it that said I was no watchdog, huh? Honey, you coming? We're gonna be late. Coming, dear. Taco Fest, here we come! 